Tradition, success, amazing fan base. I mean, those are all the things I think of when I think about Arizona basketball. One of the preeminent programs in the country for, you know, 40 years. Coach, we're rooting Good. for you this year. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Get some shots up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I had been at Gonzaga for 22 years, and my family and I were very happy. I mean, everything was, was going perfect. And then, you know, you get a phone call, and it makes you think about things. And, you know, I've said it many times that this is the only place I could see myself leaving the situation I was in at Gonzaga for. But the opportunity to come be the head coach at Arizona was something that I thought I couldn't pass up. It's an awesome challenge, and, and I've enjoyed every day of it. I mean, it's been busy. Um, you know, but I'm wrapping my arms around it and giving it everything I got. All right, hey, hey, let's get up to a little higher energy start. We're going to hit it quick today. We're going to do a few drills. We're going to be rolling right into stuff, okay? Let's go. Jordan Maines, you got the call. What are we saying? Here we go. Shot! 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 Okay, let's go. Bigs down there, guards down here, finishes. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Get all the way there. Beat your guy. Cut him off. Lay it up. Get low and wide. Find it with your inside hip, Umar. More aggressive in your lower body, Umar. Go get him. I think you got to push guys. In order to push guys, I think you have to have a great relationship with them. And, and so I'm a relationship person. So the combination of those two things, you know, getting trust, making sure that trust is a two-way street, and then, you know, making sure on the court that they're hitting the standards they need to hit. It's my job to, to hold them, you know, accountable for that. Good. My first time meeting uh, Coach Lord, I was in Mexico City. Um, at the NBA Academy. I was 15 years old. My teammate, Umar Ballo, was being recruited by Tommy Lloyd, and I was playing one-on-one -on -one against my teammate. When I first saw him, I was making sure I make every basket and just play my hardest defense just so he could uh, recruit me at Gonzaga, too. Describing Tommy Lloyd, I'd say he's more of a, a player's coach. You know, he's been a, an assistant coach for more than 20 years at Gonzaga, so, you know, he's always someone you can uh, come up to and, you know, just ex express what you, what you have in your mind. Now they can't get to the ice. We're going downhill. So, but I can still read and back cut, though. 100%, yeah, yeah, you can always read and back cut. If he get jammed, 100%. Good finish. I love what he's going to run with the pace. Things will really get hot and going here in McHale Center. I'm really excited to play a new style of play and just run the floor and get easy baskets. We want to build a great culture. This place has had a great culture. But, but I, I think sometimes as coaches and as players, we can lose sight about, you know, how important it is to have fun, you know, going through the process. So, you know, whether it's hitting a half court shot or having fun with the guys, I mean, I mean, I think a lot of these kids carry a pretty heavy burden. You know, when you're a high level division one athlete at a place like Arizona, you know, with social media and fan interest, I mean, there's a lot being thrown at these guys. And uh, we're in this thing, we got their back, we're all in it together. Pressure is a privilege. I know there's expectations, but for me personally, I've never been somebody that, I don't think that's been a burden on me. I've always thought that expectations are a good thing. If people have high expectations for your program, there's usually reasons around it. Is that usually means there's lots of pieces in place to be successful. So for me, I, I've looked at it all as a privilege. I've embraced it all. And I'm gonna do my best job moving forward uh, you know, make this place as successful as it can be. And if we do that, we'll meet and exceed all expectations.